Hey guys, happy Thursday. Just doing a quick update. A lot going on, so just trying to keep it short and on topic. And because uh, I don't know where this thing's going, but uh, anyway, I, I got some uh, morning food out. And one of the things somebody commented, and it was really good advice, and I actually had it. Um, and there's the this is a UV sterilizer. There's a light in this. Uh, this is the green machine. I'm not a big fan of this. It's got a lot of bulk to it. But basically what you have is you have a power head that's pulling water through this case right here. And there's a sponge. Let me show you really quick. So if I get a view. See that little, see that sponge right there that's, actually looks like I need to get some of the debris off of. That is pulling water into this canister right here and then it's going out that outtake right there and uh, matter of fact I already unplug it and clean that sponge really quick but just to give you an idea what all is going on here there's quite a few wires um, well feels like a lot you basically have a wire for the electric power head and then you have a wire for the light bulb uh, and then it's all driven by this kind of transformer uh, battery pack and then the LED right there is telling you that your light is working uh, on your UV light. I'm hoping, I'm hoping if that goes off and the power head is still working that my light bulbs circuit's broken. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. But uh, there's, this is the the power pack that uh, powers these two devices there's also a transformer that comes with that, and I'm glad I have the canopy, but that black box right back there is the transformer, and basically it's just an AC to DC because electrical motors uh, just use direct current, and I'm not sure about the light bulb. I, I don't know. I don't know how that, um, but motors are always going to use DC, uh, always. Unless you're doing three phase, which I'm not going to get into that. That's another story. Um, the um, the the somebody commented that I'm being paranoid, and yeah, probably uh, because I used to have five discus diamond blue diamond discus in this tank, and now I only have one. So yeah, that that's got me a little paranoid. Another thing is uh, whenever you see a discus laying horizontal, hidden up under your heater because it's hiding, uh, that's another bad sign. The one thing I, I haven't put on film and I've thought about it, but it just, it, it's almost like filming a, a baby seal getting clubbed is uh, when this blue diamond, sometimes he gets out and he'll just swim frantically and you can hear him hitting the glass and making a ruckus and uh, that guy can move in this tank. Uh, he's got some serious speed, a lot of mass, muscle, uh, really gonna hurt himself and I'm just kinda worried but, but anyway um, gotta wrap this up. It's taking longer than I wanted to but, but here's the plan. Going with the UV, still gonna do water changes. Someone talked about garlic it actually helps their immune system. It helps our immune system as well. And it just kind of, you know, that whole vampire urban legend, maybe uh, maybe there's something to that. I don't know. But garlic will help your immune system. It helps the immune system for fresh and saltwater fish. Uh, basically what I'm doing, and I've got, these are just, uh, you can see how nice this stacks. There's two here. But um, these are just sauce dishes. You can just get at any any place that sells, uh, you know, plates, china, whatever. But uh, if you look at the, the little dishes for uh, sauces, uh, that's what these are. I'm letting these four frozen cubes of blood worms thaw out, and then I'm going to move them with my chopsticks, which you guys probably already know, to this dish. This is just another sauce dish, and I'm going to put some garlic 
uh, in there and let them sit in the garlic and then I'm going to feed them and try to help their immune system and uh, get things rolling. So that's really it. Got to wrap it up. Uh, way over what I wanted to do. Five minute mark. Thanks for watching. Keep you guys posted. Happy Thursday. Later.